evening all. So uh, today's Wednesday, the uh, 23rd of March. Oh, there's a plane coming into land over there. Uh, so I'm going for a bit of a ride after work. Uh, just enjoying the good weather, to be perfectly honest. Uh, no gloves required, it's quite warm, quite mild. And so I'm going to go down the uh, west side of the uh, River Severn, then to Chepstow across the Severn Bridge and then back up home. So it's a good 50 odd miles. Um, so I thought I'd bring, a lot, bring you along and uh, show you a midweek ride. So what you can see over there is the old passage in at Arlingham and uh, that's directly in line with where I live but I'm now on the wrong side of the River Severn on my way down to uh, down to Chetstow about another 18 miles in, in this direction so this is Newnham, Newnham on Severn and uh, the last vestiges of uh, daylight has just disappeared behind me over the over the uh, uh, hills there and uh, yeah I thought just before I climb up through uh, to Newnham it gets a little bit lumpy now for a few miles and uh, you can see the truck tide going out I don't know if you can see that it's, uh, Very little wind, it's quite mild. So it was perfect night and it was a bit of a spur of the moment thing to be perfectly honest. But, uh, anyway, I should speak to you in a bit. I need to get on because I don't want to get home too late. <laughs> so I'm just south of uh, Lydney now and I just realised I haven't eaten for about seven hours so I was a bit empty. Um, so I've just stopped here in this petrol station in, um, oh, where's it called? Oh, it's just south of Lydney anyway. And, um, yeah, just on a quick coffee and a, and a sandwich just to get me round. Uh, Seven Bridge is about nine miles away. Actually, I could see it in a fair few places, all lit up, it's finery. And the traffic on this bit's got quite busy, which is surprising it being about 20 past seven at night anyway anyway i'll pick you up a bit later on well folks it's a bit surreal being here on a on a school night so obviously i'm on the seven bridge the m48 on the uh, cycle path this this the m48 is quieter than the center of chepstow it was ridiculous you know, when I could ride through there on a weekend, you expect it, you know, but bloody hell, tonight, it's ridiculous. Starting to repeat itself. So, uh, yeah, there was no, I did no ward acting last weekend. Went down to, uh, to the uh, New Forest with some friends and uh, we did a bit of riding down there. Did take the camera or anything. And I'm not going to do any uh, all action this weekend either. Uh, the reason for that is just having a bit of a break. Um, but I'm going to be doing quite a lot next week. I've got two 300s planned. One calendar and one DIY. <coughs> so a uh, bit of co content coming, this, coming your way. Um, yeah, so... Uh, just uh, felt like a bit of a breather, a couple of weekends breather before uh, start doing the really long stuff. Quite a lot of Amazon lo uh, vans coming across here. There must be a depot somewhere. I, mean, I can really feel the bridge vibrating. But uh, that up there, if it focuses, That there is the uh, Oldbury Power Station, and I'm looking north. I'm on the north side of the uh, the bridge, and I suppose from here there's probably about 18 miles home. It's not too bad, and it's a lot flatter than it is coming down the A48. 
That's it, there's a few little pictures on there. Anyway, let's crack on, let's get this done. Well, I've come up through the uh, lanes and I'm now in Barclay. And, uh, so I was saying earlier, I haven't eaten anything since lunchtime, and so I've had a ham sandwich and a coffee, and got here, and I've just had to stop to get a sugary drink just to get me home. <clears throat> and it's been a fantastic ride. Stunning weather. And it's a lovely starry sky now, so, uh, yeah, I'm probably about half an hour, 20 minutes from home. It's not too bad. Yeah, I'm just going to have me, me drink and then crack on. So, folks, I'm basically at home. Well, just down the road from home. So, uh, that was a really good ride. Really enjoyed that. Probably a bit too long for after school, but uh, hey, it was a cracking day weather-wise, so uh, it was, you know, it, it was worth doing. Uh, in terms of a, a video, I think it was a bit poor, but it wasn't really a lot to uh, to film, other than, my, well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so as I said earlier, I'm, uh, I'm having a bit of a break from the old accident this week, coming weekend. I need to spend a bit of time on the bikes, actually, because they're... You know, it's taken a bit of a battering over the week, over the winter. So, um, you know, they need a bit of a deep clean, and I need to adjust the gears on the other bike and that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, I'm going to have a have a quiet weekend, get a few jobs around the house done. Uh, in all seriousness, so uh, yeah, I was just uh, feeling a bit jaded. So uh, it was quite obvious when I needed to uh, to uh, finish early on the 300. You know, I was just uh, a bit jaded. And I've, I've had a lot on it work as well, so uh, that hasn't helped. Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, joining us on this uh, short one, and I'll just speak to you on the next.